I'm Alicia and I'm an illustrator and this is a Cricut Etching Slate tutorial and it's brought to you from Rivington Gifts. Here is a list of what you need. Nobody likes a lengthy tutorial so we've already applied the stencil here and as you can see we're now applying heat to make sure that the stencil is firmly attached down. Slate has a natural grain to it. So we're using the heat of a hairdryer here and just pressing it down with our fingers and thumbs to make sure that all wrinkles and ripples are out of it. Do of course be careful, uh, this is heat so you might want to wear heat protective gloves. We are essentially here just making sure that all bubbles are out of this uh, stencil here so that we can apply the armour etch and that there will be no bleeding underneath. Once you are happy and that you've pressed your stencil firmly down onto the slate, we're going to now move on to the etching. Once you've given your bottle of armour etch a good shake, you want to apply generously onto the stencil. We have found that slate tends to use quite a bit more than glass. And this piece here is quite large, so we're going to use quite a lot of the armour etch here. Now that we have our first layer of armour etch on, we're going to move the armour etch around in all stroke directions. As you can see here, we're just doing from bottom to top. We will soon move from left to right, right to left and diagonal. This ensures that the etching is consistent and it avoids any blotchiness or any streaks that might occur whilst etching. We are essentially going over the same place over and over again, moving this etching cream around for the full one to three minutes to ensure a nice consistent etching um, finished products essentially. I do like to finish all of my etching with circles just to double check and make sure that all of my stencil is covered um, and essentially I want a nice consistent etch. This is of course down to personal preference, it isn't essential, it's just what I like to do just to make sure. Once you're happy that you've covered everything that you need to, do please scrape away the excess because this can be reused and I put it back into the Armour Etch bottle. Next, you want to rinse this under warm or hot water and remove the stencil. So this is what it should look like once you've finished washing it off. Make sure you dry it properly, uh, making sure that you've washed all the armour etch off, of course, and you will just see your stencil magically appear. It simply looks beautiful and it's such a nice technique to do. Absolutely no other products were added to this. This is just what it looks like when it starts to dry and it's completely and utterly food safe. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful and we wish you a very happy etching uh, and thank you so much for watching.